Greetings and salutations. I'm on a lunch break, so I thought I'd do that picnic thing. Very nice. Oh, yeah, what was that? Ah, an apple right on the noggin. Mm. Mm -mm. They call this an apple. You can call it an apple too if you like. Mm. And it is scrum dumbdumptious. Delicious. Mm. Makes you wonder though, how apples get there. I mean, how does an apple grow? From these seeds and it grows into a tree and apples grow from the tree. People plant them, then it starts growing on the trees. From the plant, apples grow by water that the tree gets. Putting the seeds inside and it grows. They um, grow into flowers and then the apples. From the uh, apple seed. You plant the seed and then um, you, and you water it and then it starts to grow. They grow on the tree. They grow the um, stick that it's attached to and that grows the apple bigger. So just how does an apple grow, hmm? Maybe it's magic. Oh, let's see. I'll say the magic words. Peanut butter, marmite and jam on a sesame seed bun with special sauce and voila, the apple grows. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have made it that big. I guess I'm still on my learner's permit. Did you know when you eat an apple, you're actually eating part of a flower? Strange but true. All fruit, whether they be big or small, came from flowers. That's why they're called fruit. Now, have I got a surprise for you. A top secret invention. So top secret, even I don't know it exists. Well, that's only half true, because if I didn't know it existed, then I couldn't have built it, could I? And I did build it. Anyway, I have my top secret security clearance badge and I have one for you. Now, walk this way. Here she is. Isn't she beautiful? Doesn't she take your breath away? What is she, I hear you ask? Very good question. She is a time machine, and I am going to use this time machine to find out how apples grow. <laughs> oh, first of all, this is an apple tree. Uh, just don't get them confused. Apple tree, time machine. Apple tree, time machine. Apple tree, time machine. Got it? Great. <laughs> one small step for man, one large leap for Susiedom. Okay. Here we are. Where are we? Where are you? Oh, hang on. Ah, there. That's better. Here we are in the middle of winter. And you know how I can tell it's winter? Because it's so c -c -c cold. No, actually, it's because this apple tree here has lost all its leaves. It's completely naked, don't look. That's actually because it's a deciduous tree. Deciduous trees lose all their leaves in autumn. But actually, it's not completely naked. It's got tiny leaf buds and flower buds ready to open. And it's a bit like when you lose your baby teeth and you've got new adult teeth ready to grow through. Now, a leaf bud is a bit like a compact suitcase. Say you were going on holiday. You've got your suitcase ready with a oh, change of clothes, some spare socks, a takahe. A takahe? What would you want a takahe on holiday for? Really, who writes this stuff? What I'm trying to get across is a leaf bud is like a compact suitcase because it's tiny and it's full of stuff. It's full of tiny, tiny leaves and tiny flower buds just ready to open. Okay, back into the time machine. Goggles on. And off we go. Ooh, nearly. Um, uh, yeah, that's better. Okay, bye. Okay, 
stand back. This could be dangerous. <laughs> Here we are. And now we're in spring. And as you're probably aware, in spring the days are longer, it's so much warmer, and our apple tree has leaf buds. Now these leaf buds will only appear when there's enough warmth from the sun, and they're completely covered, and I mean completely covered, in leaves. Now the flower has lots of parts. Take the sepal, for example. These are the tough guys for the plant. They will stay wrapped around in protection of that delicate flower until they think it's really safe. Then they'll open up and allow the delicate flower to open into full bloom. And inside that flower are the parts that allow the plant to be pollinated with the help of the friendly bee. Once the flower has been fertilised, the flower petals drop off because they've done their job, quite frankly, and what a very good job they did. Now, for the miracle of creation, an apple begins to grow right where the flower joined the stem. The apple core is this part here that holds the apple seeds, and it's actually the fertilised ovary. This white part around the outside is really just to protect the ovary. And as the ovary grows and gets bigger for the growing seeds, this white part gets bigger. And it's the white part that we eat. Oh. Mm. Now, on to summer. It's summertime. And the apples are getting bigger. Now, just like anything that gets bigger, it needs lots of food to eat. But how's an apple going to do that? I mean, it can't just order takeaways, can it? <laughs> no. Well, what happens is the tree makes a very special sugar out of water, air and sunlight. It mixes it all together and feeds that sugar to the apple. Now, you need about 50 leaves to feed one single apple. So if you've got lots of tiny flower buds and not many leaves, you're not going to have much fruit, are you? No. OK, off to autumn. Here we are in autumn. And over here is a tree full of apples ready to be picked. Now, if they're not picked, they'll drop. Where they're either eaten by animals or left to rot back into the ground to feed the tree for next time. OK, I'm going to have to try something a lot more technical. Uh, stand back. This could be dangerous. Yeah, that's much better. Whew. Where were we? Ah, winter. And our apple tree is completely bare of leaves, but it does have buds beginning to form. And it wouldn't matter if I'd gone to winter next year or a winter 200 years ago, it would be exactly the same because fruit trees follow cycles. You might have a fruit tree in your backyard. If you do, why don't you have a fruit tree diary? Check it out every few weeks and see if you notice any developments. Maybe you have some questions you'd like answered on Susie's World. You can write to us at Susie's World. P.O. Box 34307 Birkenhead, Auckland, or email me. My address is susie at treehut.com. Well, that's it from me from Central Otago. Over and out. So, how does this apple go? <laughs> You're rapping. <laughs> and that's because it's a. <laughs> Thanks to New Zealand On Air, we couldn't have done it without you.